Hi everybody, this is a very helpful video for quotient rule. So, what is quotient rule exactly? So, suppose like, you know, if you've been asked to differentiate um, e to the power x, derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. If you've been asked to differentiate derivative of ln x, it's, it's 1 over x. We all know. But if you've been asked to differentiate derivative of e to the power x over ln x, now how do we do what how do we do this kind of question so when you have been given in calculus when you've been given division of two functions and you want to find out the derivative of that function for example y equals to e to the power x over ln x then find d by dy by dx so what do we do with this so when you're finding the derivative of such functions you have a simple rule that's your quotient rule so when you're differentiating quotient rule, for example, um, the, if you have y equals to u by v, the dy by dx function is um, where u and v are the functions of x. Uh, dy by dx is going to be v square. So you square the denominator and then you retain v as it is because these two has to be the same. U, v, u dash minus u v dash. So if you change the order, your answer is going to be wrong. So be careful. So v and v. Remember, this is v square and this is v. So if you want to differentiate, let's say, um, y equals to e to the power x or ln x. Now, consider this as u and consider this as v. Now, u dash is going to be e to the power x and v dash is going to be 1 over x. So... Now apply the in the put in the formula. So dy by dx is gonna be what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the value. So v is gonna come here, then e to the power x is gonna be um, here. So so at different places you put the values. So my formula finally it's gonna be final value is gonna be v is gonna be uh, first you put ln x the whole square because I required v square out here. V is your ln x. And then you maintain v as it is, ln x. You can see I have kept the same thing out here into e to the power x, but that's the derivative of e to the power x minus um, e to the power x as it is into 1 over x. So what it's going to become is e to the power x, ln x minus 1 over x, ln x the whole square. So this is the simple derivative using quotient rule. So here is another example. So if I wanted to differentiate, for example, if I want to differentiate y equals to ln x over x, one of the favorite exam question, to find out the derivative using quotient rule. So when you find out the derivative using quotient rule, you have your y equals to uh, u by v, your dy by dx is going to be uh, v square v u dash minus u v dash. So, uh, if you compare, your u is, this is your u and this is your v. So, if you want to pause this video and try on your own, you can try in a minute. Now, you, sh you can check your answer. So, answer is, first of all, it's going to be x squared because my v is x. Your x has to be maintained as, as, it, is, as it is, ln x is 1 over x minus um, ln x as it is into derivative of x which is 1. So that's going to be 1 minus ln x over x square. Hope this video helped you understand quotient rule.